previously recorded. It looks dead, some of it anyway. You want some gloves? Hey y'all, it's your girl T and I call it me and I am Grandma. I ain't seasoned that yet. I told you all along. Oh, you said you Lord, see, I just told you before you went to sleep the first time. I was like, hold on, Grandma. I ain't seasoned nothing. Hey y'all, it's your girl T and I go, hold on, Grandma. Let me put some seasoning in here. Okay, Lord. I ain't put three in here. Oh, yours? You got your three in here? Mm -hmm. This show gonna be dry, huh? This gonna be some unseasoned. Y'all, we got it all. We, we, we just hang together. But anyway, hey y'all, it's your girl T and I'm gonna be me. And, she, uh, and I'm coming at you with a smuggled catfish and rice video. I wanna thank y'all for coming. If you was new, welcome. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. But happy Fish Fry Friday to y'all. Got grandma with me, y'all. And. We uh about to cook it up. We was gonna do just fish and hush puppies or maybe um yeah fish and hush puppies, but I was like, no, nah, grandma, let's do some smothered catfish with some rice. So oh and some fried cornbread. That's what we're gonna be doing today. Some smothered catfish, rice, and fried cornbread. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you for coming and let's get into it since we already done got started. Alright, so grandma don't put the fish in there already and got no season in the back. Can't tell her, hold on, hold on. She went to sleep, woke back up, and still forgot y'all. So I got my seasonings that, no, that's not my seasoning. This is my seasonings that I'm gonna be adding to it. To season up, I don't know why I don't wanna come out. To season up my cornmeal and, and flour mixture. So that's what I got right up. Okay. Then I'm over here cooking my rice, so I'm gonna turn that down. First time I've been cooking my rice. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go shake it up. Yeah, close it up and shake it up real good. All right, so got that. Close that up. Okay, all right, so yeah. That's what we're doing, y'all. So, I don't know if y'all ever had some other catfish or not. We only got one skillet, so we're gonna be working a little backwards. We're gonna do our fried bread first, then we're gonna do catfish after the fried bread because I don't wanna have to, you know, be too much change, do too much changing out. All right, so. All right, so while she's doing that, I'm going to be cutting up my onion. Now for my, uh, for my, um, Corn, cornmeal and for the uh, for my fried cornbread, I can't think or talk right now. But for my fried cornbread, I'm going to be cutting up an onion and it's going to also be going for um, the gravy for the fish, right? Mm -hmm. All right, 
So that's what I'm about to do while Grandma is over there shaking up the meal and she's going to be breading the fish. This time we're going to put the fish in the bag. Grandma, let it stay in there. Hold on. Put the other, put the other ones in there now. And we're going to put it in the bag and we're just going to let them stay oh, in there because they ain't seasoning in there. Sure, sure did. Oh, you want to put some more in there? No. <laughs> Maybe we'll just season up. We'll just. Let me throw some seasoning on this fish. <laughs> I done brought the mustard. Grandma, you just a messed up the whole rotation. And you finish. All right, here you go. All right, so now I season those fish right go. Okay. So I'm peeling this onion, I'm about to cut it up and all that good stuff. And it's actually night this time, y'all. How's the weather in y'all areas? Y'all have some good weather? No, yeah. Snowy still, raining. What y'all got going on? What y'all got going on in the look of the woods? Seems like this week don't went by so fast, y'all. When I tell y'all Friday, it can take no time to come, but I've been busy all week too. So I guess that's what it's like when you be busy all week. It seems like the week just go by fast. Come on, you'll um, I put it right here. And I'm hungry too. Honey, this is gonna be delicious. So I kind of got my little setup together out here, y'all, a little bit. So I caught myself doing a little something, something. That way I don't have to be, I got me some different stuff out here. I got my, my flour out here, my seasonings, and stuff like that. And I got it right here next to me, that way you can warm to reach. And I ain't got to be going in and out the house. That's the purpose of cooking outside. That way, you know, but I, I uh, you know, so it's, 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 I guess let's have some fun, you know? So I don't want to take the fun out of it, having a haul stuff in and out all the time, the house. So, yeah, so I'm just, um, I say I'm gonna get me another, uh, another little cook pot or something like that, you know? Another one of those right there. Another one of the little fryers. I do want another one of them. And, I got me, I think I got two griddles. I think I got two griddles. I'm gonna get that out of here, but I'm gonna get me my little pots and stuff set up out here that way I ain't gotta be hauling them in and out neither. You know, like I was telling one I say it'll be better, you know, to just have everything already out of the way. And, cause I don't really use those in the house. And so I already have them out of the middle, so I ain't got to worry about moving stuff every time. The only thing I have to take in is our dishes that we mess up. You know? Right, Grandma? Yeah. So yeah, this is my first time cooking rice over here. I got some rice over here in my deep fryer. Y'all know the last time I had cooked the grits over here in the pot. Ooh, this man. I had cooked the grits over here in this pot and um, they turned out good. So I'm like, ooh, we're gonna put up some rice over here in this pot. So I got me some white rice going. I'm so ready for this meal. I don't know what to do. So yeah, I gotta get me some more utensils. Okay. I'm gonna have to definitely get some more utensils. So that's gonna be a good thing to put on my registry, probably. I don't know. Some stuff to go out here. We'll see. We're going to see, we're going to see, we're going to see. So I hope y'all had a good week and stress free. Y'all ain't let nobody get on your nerve, work it up, stress you out. You cussed out. <laughs> y'all know how that could be sometimes. Up the bread. That's bread. We're gonna leave it in the bag. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, the eyes. Oh, the eyes. Okay. Yeah, this onion. I ain't had no onion water in my eyes in a long time. So we're about to mix up the whole cake for y'all. That's it. We're finna make whole cake bread. What are we making in? In there? In there? Yeah. Just enough for me and you. And you know they still gonna be two minutes. Huh? I'm gonna say, what you gonna do with this onion? Oh, that's an egg. Yeah, I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna put some onion in there though, cause we're gonna do the whole cake like hush puppies. Oh, yeah, the hush puppy. Like what? We're gonna do the whole cake like hush puppies. Oh. Put okay. the onion in there. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be good. Y'all, the onion taking me up. Sugar in my sugar in mine. Okay. okay. And I will put, uh, we'll just put some of this in there because I got these mixed up. A little salt and pepper. All right, now that's the mixture for the bread. Oh, you need some water. We use some water this time, y'all, because we ain't got no milk. And like I told y'all, when you make whole cakes, you can most definitely add water still to the um, mixture. You don't have to use uh, milk all the time, milk or buttermilk or, you know, you can use water. So I'm dicing this onion up fine. And then I'm about to put some in here. Right in the little mixture. Right there. So that's cornmeal, flour, um, salt, pepper, sugar one egg for the amount that we make. Have I inspired some of y'all to start doing fish fry Fridays? I know this, it was already a thing for people to do. But you know, I'm just, I just want to know who have I inspired to start doing fish fry Friday? You want some more water? I know you're gonna make them just right. You make them just like I like it, nice and loose. So I'm getting the skillet on so that we can get it going. And I'm gonna add a little oil to it. Cause it ain't gonna take much. But when we get it heated up, got a child. Fancy. Fancy child. You want me to mix some for you? You got it? Okay. Trying to beat, she trying to beat them lumps. Well, it really ain't got much lumps in there. Most of the lumps is from the onions. Oh yeah, you got to start down in there real good. Let me see, Grandma. Because that flour is right down in there. Yeah, turn it over for you. I'm gonna check this here. Oh, this rice is looking good. Looking, looking, looking good. Oh, yeah. That, that rice is done. Turn that off. Ooh, baby. Oh, no. That ain't done yet. But we're going to wait at that. 
down just a little bit. Put a little bit more oil in that rice. And we're gonna let that up finish cooking. Steaming all the way through. I don't like no mushy rice, y'all already know that. Don't like no mushy rice. No flour now. Lord, today needs to be a good day. Lord, don't let nothing happen. Please don't let all this shit. Yo, All right, so now we're about to fry the whole okay, cake. So I'm going to get some oil in this pan. So we're going to fry them. You don't need a whole lot of oil like I showed y'all when we made it in the house. You just need just enough. That's what I'm about to make. So we're going to get them down in there. I know y'all can't see, but y'all know Fish Fry Friday is just for us to spend time together. That's the purpose of our Fish Fry Fridays. And then if it's something that somebody asks, you know, for me to make, so they'll learn how to make it. But in order for us to, you know, have these videos right, some stuff gonna be out of out of focus. Mm. These gonna be so good. Got some onions in that bread. Mm. So, okay. so those onions from my cutting is going to be for the um, gravy. It smells good too. You smell it? Mm -hmm. That bread smells so good. I forgot the. Oh, I did bring a fork. Give him that fork by you because I like to fork my rice. I do not mm -hmm. like to stir. I do not like to stir my rice with no um, spoon. I just need the fork. Okay. Yeah, I like to fluff my rice with the fork. And I was over here stirring with the spoon. Forgot I brought the fork out of here. Oh, that bread smells so good. 
It's gonna be good for this mother catfish. <laughs> mm hmm. Them onions, no, they is thinking. Great. Got me ready to eat, child. Scared to taste a piece, cause honey, I might just don't know how to stop. <laughs> you know how that be, grandma. Mm -hmm. We get the taste of honey, we don't know how, we don't know how to act. Put a little bit more. Only got about two pieces. Taste. Want to taste a piece, Grandma? Tell me what you think about it. Real good. Mm -hmm. Taste that onion up in there, too. Could have used a little bit more salt in it, though, ain't it? But it's all right. It don't taste like no. It tastes got more of a bread taste than a cornmeal taste, like I like it, but just a little bit more of a bread taste this time because we um added some more flour to it. Mm -hmm. But it still tastes good. Yeah. It ain't too sweet or nothing. Mm -hmm. Just right. Let me stop. Happily eating. Oh, can't wait. I can't wait till this gravy get on this meat, on this fish. <laughs> Girl, it's gonna be in the child. Y'all, I sound too hungry, don't I? <laughs> uh, I am hungry. I ain't ate nothing all day. All day, Grandma. <clears throat> I ain't had a taste or sniff of nothing. <laughs> Trying to work on the videos. Boy, I tell you. And the thing that I didn't like you was too much to be in the I was, but I had to, I forgot I had to get them off, off my um, phone so I could record today. So I didn't do that far. And I had to put them on the computer just so I can delete what I had on, on my phone. Uh -huh. So, and before I can even do all that, I had to edit. So now I'm editing up for uh, what? I think for next week. One of them. I don't know. I got to see what I got going on, child. I just be working ahead of myself, you know. But ain't nothing wrong with that. Like I told, like I was talking to grandma. And I was telling, I'm finna put some fish grease in my pan now. And that's gonna be for the fish. We're about to get ready to fry this fish up. I ain't gonna put too much because that means I won't have too much to take out. <laughs> <sighs> when I get ready to um, make my gravy. But I was telling grandma. I said, you know, it's best for me to, you know, try to stay ahead, even though I know there's a time that I'm going to fall behind. But let me put this lid on him just in case this thing starts trying to pop crazy. But I told Grandma, I said, it's best for me. Let me show y'all the whole cake. Hush puppies. It's best for me to stay ahead than fall behind. You know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to stay ahead so that I don't fall fall behind on my videos and stuff like that. Which is, it'll be, it's, it's, it's hard. Grandma, you did good. Grandma is over there chopping up something, child. 
you know, so yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, y'all. I'm trying to stay focused, trying to stay ahead, trying to keep pushing myself, press and do to be the best that I can be and just do the best that I can at what that I, what I do. So I thank each and every one of y'all for just supporting me and liking these videos and watching the videos and all that good stuff. Grandma, that's good right there if you want to stop. So I guess you don't want to stop. You don't want to stop, Grandma? You you must enjoy one chopping. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, go ahead, honey. Knock yourself out. But yeah, so yeah, y'all. So that's that's what I've been trying to do, and that's what I was telling Grandma. I was like, Grandma, got to stay ahead. Got to stay ahead. You know, while I got this this. this push that I got for myself, you know, this push to get things done, so I'm proud of myself, I'm doing good, you know, it, it all takes time to build up this hill energy that I got, but I thank God that I got it, I thank God for that, it's just so hard, yeah, that's hot, y'all, I'm looking for the grease getting hot, Immediately, okay. So, Grandma, what, so Grandma, what's what's been going on this week? How you been doing? You want to talk to him? Huh? Huh? I said, so what's been going on this week? You want to talk to him? Yeah, I can. I can talk to him too. Now. Okay. Oh, you had to focus on. Him. Put put the knife over there in the bucket. I'm done with it myself. Brush the onions off right there so you can wash your hands. I'm talking about your hands. Yeah, so you can wash your hands. I don't want you to just sit up there with onions on your hands. Oh, we're going to make it up. We finna fry this fish. Oh. Now, what you finna tell them? Huh? Wash your hands over there in the bucket. In the bucket. But yeah, so we were having a good week, y'all. Having a good week, productive week for me. And um, Grandma, she been doing good, right, Grandma? Yep. She ain't too talkative today, y'all. Seem like, oh, this grease is hot. This grease is hot. All right, so we got my Friday's fish. I got my catfish. It's breaded already. You gotta see me do that. So I'm about to shake it to the all. And just add them right on down in here in this grease, baby. And I'm finna try, if I can, to fry all of them at one time. I got six little catfish. They little whole catfish, but they so small. Uh, they so small, they couldn't cut them up. So I'm laying them like they lay chicken legs. One, one big piece one way, and then I'm sweeping the other. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I'm proud of the yard. The yard is getting, it is looking so nice. I'm so happy about my yard, y'all. It's coming along. It's clearing out, looking good. Getting rid of some, some trees and all them vines. Lord, when I tell y'all, I did not know them vines will, will take over like they take over. I thought that it was pretty at first. When we first came in and we seen the house and stuff, I told you, I said, let me get this out of here. I said, babe, I said, I won't, I said, don't, don't mess with them. I want that right there. I was talking about the vines because they be so pretty. I'm like, don't mess with them. I want that right there. You know, because it looks pretty on the ground and it grows up the trees. But I didn't know that all them vines and stuff from them, it suffocate the trees. It suffocate the trees, them vines and stuff. Suffocate trees and it kills trees and stuff. And then take over your yard, it just spreads. Mm -hmm. 
They call them invasive uh, evergreen vines because yeah. they take over and they grow year round. Yeah. Yeah. So you got and you can get the root of them. You still got to get the you got to get the root of them and got to find where they started at. From what I've been researching, you got to find where they started at so that you can uh, put some killer on the the stump part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you cut it. Cause I'm telling you, them, them vines grow thick as some trees out there. Mm -hmm. And they just wrap around the tree. Yeah, I'm like, goodness. Vines in the mess. I know. I'm like, who would want some stuff like this in their yard? All them vines, Lord. And, and, and what in the world? They had them pop down the park. Different kind of flowers and stuff in it. All the flowers. That woman, the woman that used to stay here, she had a nursery where she sold flowers and stuff. Oh, yeah. But I guess when the business closed or whatever, I don't know. I don't know if the business closed or the, or what happened. But anyway, she must had a bunch of it in her house too. Flowers and flower pots and. Just all them flowers. It's pretty when you know how to keep it up. Yeah. But when you when when you, when when ain't nobody keeping it up and let it go, mm -hmm. it be uh, it is a mess. It's a mess, y'all. So we got years worth of mess to take care of out there in the yard. I'm telling you, when I tell you them vines so dog on thick out there, though, you can't even break. That's how thick it is. Like you need a, I, I, I'm thinking like eventually we probably gonna have to just hire us a professional with a machine to come and pull all that stuff up so we can get down to the dirt because I'm telling you that mess is so thick when you step on your feet and sink down in along with all that pine straw and all that stuff like that. So when y'all told me to leave them cats alone, and let them cats stay out there. That's my best bet because all that straw and the weeds and all that stuff tangled up and you get to walking out there in it. And the snake probably be buried down up in there. You don't know what's in there. Mm -hmm. I better let them cats stay. Honey, move for honey. You welcome. <laughs> Grandma. on. Grandma, they welcome to stay. They ain't got to go nowhere. I, I, and I'm not going to feed them though. Cause honey, that ain't gonna make them go. They ain't gonna go nowhere for real if I feed them. Mm -mm. Um, they can say all they wanna say, honey. I don't know who's feeding them. Somebody feed them though for them to stay around. Yeah. And they feel me they feel me sick. So I always let them stuff in the evening. Did I tell you about the cats though? Did I tell you what I found out about them? Mm -hmm. So, I talked to the lady named Doug, and she the one that had told me about the cats because I was telling her about how the cats, you know, they just be crying all night and one of them ran up in the house and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so she was like, um, those were the lady that lived to the cats. And the cat that ran up in the house, I told they, I said, babe, I said, when that cat ran up in here, that cat had like he done been here before. Mm -hmm. And the cat that ran up in here used to live in his house. That's a shame they have been in them cats like that. Mm -hmm. They could at least, you know, got a shelter or something. I don't think she had all those cats in here. But I believe that she probably fed those cats, the ones that thought they'd go to. Mm -hmm. And she's been used to that in the hollering. Huh? She's been used to that in the hollering. No, they hollering because they in heat. That's why they hollering. Oh, ain't no little girl cat out there? I don't know what's all out there. But the one that ran in here was a boy. Was it, was it a boy? A boy. Yeah, it was a boy. So. Yup. I'm like, so sad, man. It made me feel, made me feel bad, child, because I had to went out there and put red pepper down and everything. 
<laughs> put red pepper down and everything and get rid of them. Seems like it kind of did work because I don't be hearing them hollering like that no more. But they had a bus that made them a new way to get in up under the house. Because yeah. I put red pepper in front of where they was going in there. They ain't even know it was another opening on the side of the house, child. They gonna bust the dog on thing guy that they had covering up the hole for the, the side of the house and made them a new way to get in. Oh my lord, how much to do this. So you know what I mean? There ain't no hope for them. Well, how, how, what, you know, what, what wrong with Lady Jane? What Lady Jane got hope for? Nothing. She stressed out from moving. That's what was wrong with her. Yeah. Cause I'm we already know what I'm wrong with her. What I'm wrong with her when we moved her? Mm -hmm. So that's all it was for so being stressed out from moving here. And um she couldn't have got hold of nothing because she don't go outside. Mm -hmm. So that's what it is. That's all it is, Mary Jane, honey. We gonna, we gonna cook her away from her house, honey. And Mary Jane, like, what is going on? <laughs> y'all done, y'all done went and on vacation and ain't went back yet. <laughs> <laughs> so I took a long vacation. So I'm gonna stop the camera, y'all, real quick, cause you know I want y'all to see us make this gravy, and I need, you know, I don't want to take up all the space and all that stuff like that. But yeah, so. I'm going to stop it and I'm going to come back when the fish is coming out the grease so we can smother it, baby. You want all your smother or you want to at least have one just fry? Get rid of it. Okay. Me too. Here go the fried fish and the uh, whole cake hush puppies. Um, whole cake hush puppy bread. Or should I say hush puppy whole cakes? Either way, you know what I'm talking about. So there y'all go. All right, so now we're about to do the gravy. All righty, y'all. So we're about to let Grandma cook the gravy. <clears throat> she gonna show y'all how she like to make her gravy. So we got a little oil in the pan and some crumbs. I'm gonna use this, Grandma. I'm gonna use this. She got some oil in the pan and the crumbs from the fish. And we just about to add these onions right down in there. And she gonna, she, she gonna stop tail for her and she gonna tell y'all what she like to do. You gonna talk to him and tell him your mom? Yep. All right. You gotta talk to him step by step so you teach Do your thing. Here you go. Oh, sorry. Well, hell y'all, I'm showing the onions. And I'll be here. Say that. All you can, I don't want it to burn. I have to, have to keep it stirred while it's brown. Mm -hmm. When it's brown, I put the flour in there. And let the flour brown. And when the flour brown, I put some water in it. Hold on, now let's, let's do a little bit at a time. When you do it, honey, then you're going to tell them when we do the flour. Okay. Yeah. You got to do it. Yeah. You got to do it a step at a time. Okay. You want me to turn it down, son? Okay. Oh, my God. Eat the tails off these fish. This how I do my, when I be having to call it Mm-hmm. Oh, you cook your onions first on the ground? Make the green, be all ready to go. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then you're going to warm them up. Oh, you're adding some onions to them? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. That's, that's I remember you saying that, but I forgot all about that. That gives some good flavor. Mm -hmm. I know it do. Mm. 
Y'all like the tails on the fish? That'd be so good. I'm crunching. <laughs> you, li <clears throat> you like the tail, Grandma? So she's sauteing until it gets soft. Oh, you like them nice and brown. Good to see how people do stuff, because, you know, people do stuff different. Yeah. Don't nobody know. I don't want to cook it all the time. Don't nobody cook it all the time. Mm-mm. Definitely don't. But that's the good thing about it, though. Mm-hmm. Cook different. Let them see how somebody else make their stuff, you know. Add that to yours. You try something new. Yes, right. So she browned the hell onions, y'all. <clears throat> Looking good, though. <clears throat> Scraping all the bits, so don't do it too hot because you don't want to burn it up. Mm -mm. And you burn it, you got to start all over again. Yeah. I mean, she cook them brown, brown too, y'all. All the way brown. She like them caramelized kind of brown. Okay. You don't want to burn the crumb. Right. Well, that'll make the gravy taste better. Burn. Mm-hmm. You ready for your flour? Mm -hmm. So now she's going to add her some stuff fried some flour. Tell me when to stop. That's good. She gonna cook this flour in with her onions and in that oil. You want me to turn it down some? Yeah. <clears throat> and she gonna cook that raw taste out of that flour. How long you cook your flour, Grandma? Well, it won't take long. Uh huh? It won't take long. See how the flour is turning? Uh huh. With the onion? Uh huh. That's what I'm saying. You gotta tell them. The, the, the flour turns with the onion now. Uh huh. So, when you get to going, putting it all the way around in the onion, you add some water to it. Mm -hmm. But you got to constantly stir, right? Yeah. Yeah. Keep them burning. I mean, you telling them that, not me. Keep them burning it, you have to stir it around. Mm -hmm. Get it all, you know, in with the other one. Oh, you don't want no gravy. That don't taste good. Mm -hmm. Okay, tea. The bottle of water would have you. Oh. Okay, on the stand. Down, look down. Yeah. Oh.
Well, y'all, I'm finna add my water to it now. And then I'm gonna let it take the toll itself. I'm just gonna keep it stirring what all can get into it. And y'all want it too thick? Uh-uh. You want a nice thin gravy? That's right. Come what happened to gravy? The gravy, it be, it be all right, but you know, I just don't like no thick gravy. Uh-huh. Because as it get cold, what's going to happen? It ain't going to be looking for fly. It's going to be thicker too. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. She working it on in so she get it to the consistency that she wants. Not no hard job. Just take time. That's right. You don't want to add too much water, but just enough. But by having the stuffed rice and flour, yeah. you gonna, it's going to be all right. Yeah, it's going to be good. Mm -hmm. Nice and pretty gravy, too. Some biscuit. We're gonna pop that gravy on over with it, huh? Uh huh. <laughs> or oh, some red one. Yeah. But honey, that's gonna be good over that rice, though. Yeah. And then you got to season it up with your salt and pepper or whatever you want to put in now. Yep. You might need another bottle of water right now. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hang on another bottle. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, because when they cool down, that's going to be too thick. Tell how thick it's gonna be. Okay, you see, you know how to do a little something, song. Yeah. <laughs> you can do a little something, song, man. Okay. So we're gonna season it. I got my seasonings right here some black pepper, salt, and a little chicken seasoning. Wanna mix that up? I thought you were going to stir. Excuse me. Hold on. Yeah, that's good right there, ain't it? I don't need no more of it. No, it don't look like it. It look like it's good right there. Perfect gravy. Mmm. Season good, too. Yeah, swipe it with your finger, the spoon. You want to do? Yeah, use your finger. You want to swipe it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you did your thing on that, didn't I? Yep. Mm. 
Oh yeah, that's that's good though. That's perfect. Look at that gravy. Yeah, now you can put the fish in there. And put the top on it. Oh, uh, you gotta put the gravy on them. What gravy? That gravy, cuss them up. Oh. Yeah, you don't forget? Oh. Let it stir. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You say you want one piece not enough? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, you can put the top on it. Okay. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Yeah, so you can see. Oh, yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's what it's looking like. And it looks good. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know, don't know, because you probably don't see no more. Just see it rolling in the ground. Don't worry about rolling them, just pour it on top of it. You heard me? Ah. I said, don't worry about rolling She be concentrated. She don't hear nothing you say. I see where I get that from. She don't hear nothing you say when she be focused. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on top just like that. Then we're gonna tear it up. Okay. So now we're just gonna, what you think? We about ready to eat now? Yep. All right now. Let's fix up and here's the rice. Right there. That fish there, that grandma working. And that fried fish and cornbread. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more water to that because it's getting thicker. And I want mine to go all over that rice. <laughs> I'm gonna add us a little bit more water to see if that kind of again. Look at my baby. Y'all look at my baby. Look at my the. Come on. See, she come outside. All right, y'all, we about to fix up some plates. And we about to eat. Just thin it out a little bit more so when we put it on top of our rice, it'll glide right on over that rice instead of it being like a big gravy. Because like I told y'all, it's cool down, it's gonna thicken even more. So you don't want it too thick. It's all right, I enjoy you though. I enjoy. Spending time with you. That's all it's what it's about. Waiting for that. Right on. Making memories with my grandma. Get your spoon. All right, y'all. So now we about to eat. Let me get your um plate. Let's let's say grace. You wanna say grace? Mm. Hmm. No, you should say grace. That's you say grace. Well. <laughs> That's how you can say it again. Okay. I like I like the way you say it, Grace. <clears throat> yeah, I have to put the mouse to it. And that's right. You got to throw him on, and uh, he he was glad to get him some. So you know he want him some today. Yes. I'm Father, which are in heaven, hallowed that be thy name. That kingdom come, that will be done. On earth has his chills in hell. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts, so fast we cancel. Lead us not for no temptation, but to deliver us from all sin and evil. Thy name came, how in the glory, forever. Amen. And thanks, Father, for us to be getting up this morning. And then to eat some rice, and some fish, and some cornbread, 
and some gravy. I wish you were here with us to have some. Thank you. Amen. He here. He getting a good smell of it. His, his belly already full. <laughs> he, 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 was, he was eating while we were cooking. Uh -huh. <laughs> he, was, he was getting it in. All right, y'all. So, I'm about to get us some rice. And I'm just going to lay the rice all on the plate. And we're just going to lay our fish dead on top of it. That how you want yours, Grandma? Mm-hmm. Yes, that's your gravy there. That's enough or you want some more? You want some more or that's enough? Yeah, put me some more in there. You know me, honey. I will lie. I will hook it up with the gravy on that and I can go chow, chow, chow. Chow down. And we're gonna put up some gravy down and make sure this rice got some gravy on top of it. Mm -hmm. mm. Some of that good gravy grandma just hooked up. Like that right there. Mm -hmm. That's good? Yeah. Then we're gonna put her fish on there. It's raining. And that and don't that look good? Mmm. Mm. Look like bulk gravy. And I'm gonna fix my. Let me just take a picture of your plate. Then I ain't gotta worry about it. You get your own bread. Put that back over there. That's great. There go your hand towel right there. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm gonna go that. I'll be good right there. Oh, you was just doing something. Mm -hmm. Just to get it out of the way. Yeah. Okay. Get me some on my plate. Like I said, the rice is stickier, stickier than what I like, but honey, I'm about to eat it today. I don't like my rice sticky, fluffy, and all that. I like my rice every grain to a seal. What you want to cook next time, Grandma? Huh? What you want to cook next time? Oh. You said that last time. You can't say that this time. <laughs> can't say that this time, y'all. Tell her she can't say that this time, can she? She got to say what she want to eat this time. What you want next time? I come up with the ideas every time. Yeah. You come up with the good idea. Yeah, and this one was a good one here. You 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 be chosen when you go to sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but when you went to bed, we wasn't gonna do this long with this thing. Uh huh. I think I, I think I can't remember if I woke up this morning to think about it or last night, one or the other. Mm. That gravy is on point. Grandma, you did your thing on the gravy though. Huh? I ain't gonna tell the story. All right, y'all. So I love y'all. Peace, love, many, many blessings to each and every one of you guys. And until the next video, this your girl T. I'm gonna be me. Y'all be blessed. And we'll see y'all in the next video. I'm going to show y'all it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Only be right if I point you down. I put a whole lot of gravy on mine. Grandma, she going to push her to the side. She said, get over, fish. Mm -hmm. <laughs>